This is part five of the latest build. You can see the hardware completely assembled. All the cards, the relay cards, big transformer. The 600 volt. Additional card makes from 300 to 600. Heater, anode, gate 2, gate 3, gate 1. So, temperature sensor, the external, the PNC sockets for the external voltages. This is how it looks from the front panel side. This part is not finished yet. The covers are not made yet. It's already attached. The, the calibration box, my version of the calibration box is already attached. The power resistors. The tube tester is still connected on my isolation transformer in current limiter. This is what happens when it starts. test nope that was not what I wanted wanted these ones really PCBs automatic tests and let's do a self test with the PC. And that's it. box connected to the multimeter for the later calibration. The appliance looks really good with all these LEDs shining. It's dark on purpose so you can see the LEDs better. front I'm just waiting for the retest to warm up for one hour so I can start the calibration so let's start with the calibration prior to the calibration I made a restore of the presets exactly as it mentioned here on the manual and I will start with the calibration. I did it, from, it's my first time I do that. So let's do it together. I use the calibration assistant and the calibration box. I use the calibration box. 
the fixed voltages are I already calibrated. That's that, and let's take the heater voltage. Let's see what happens. Let's press start. You hear the click. Okay. And we have to adjust it to the high value to 100 volts. Yeah, I have already connected the multimeter to the calibration box my calibration box it's a little bit different than one that Helmut made but it's the same schematic I'm using a Bryman 869S that's my favorite non-benchtop multimeter. I had a, f a lot of others, um, flukes and uh, key sites, etc. But the Bryman 869S in in East, in its price class, it's in my opinion the best one. It has features and accuracy that are in in many many cases better than a 87 v i don't know fluke or something that is much more expensive and on others that it is at least as good as it uh, a great thing of that is that it, this is a 50 50 000 count multimeter but you can up it to a 500 000 count multimeter look like that on the dc scale at least so you add uh, additional digit. This is why I like this Bryman 869S. In my opinion, the Brymans are, for, the, for this price range, compete completely with any others. Uh, the only thing that I, the only two criticisms that I would have is, I would like to have a dedicated button, on off button, mechanical button so you don't have to slide all the time the rotary switch left and right to go to off the second thing would be to have to, to have a triple A's or double A's instead of a 9 volt battery so these are the two only yeah, bad things or criticisms that I had yeah. and it would be nice if Bryman would make exactly this with the same specs one but a little bit smaller in size but anyway this is blah blah now let's go to the to the calibration i'm using this calibration it isolated screwdriver it shouldn't you don't need an isolated button but I just have it in my hands and let's go to the heater the heater is this one and this is the pot we have to set to 100 volts. Unfortunately, it is not very fast. That means that there's a little bit delay. You turn the, the trim pot and uh, yeah, it delays a little bit. I mean there is somewhere a capacitor that has to be charged or discharged but anyway if you know it you can cope with it i'm turning it eh, so you see that's the delay i turned it too much and didn't wait it that's the initial calibration just to know, you can see my finger there. Let's 
Looks good. Yeah, up, down, up, down. Good for every day, my opinion. And this would be the calibration procedure for all, all the cards here. Yeah, it's a lot of work. Second step is to do the same calibration, but not on the voltmeter, but for this virtual instrument to be at 100 volts. It's almost 100 volts. And it is, it is the third pot from the bottom. So we did that too. I had to do that, of course, off camera, but because the monitor is a little bit too far away from the red test itself, but you see it's exactly 100 volts. Here we still are not that bad. It stays at 100 volts. So, next step is to set the slider. So the multimeter shows 2 volts. Whoa, that's a little bit too much. This is more or less what I can do the best. Okay, 2 volts. Okay, we have that. Now, for the next step is I have to enter the voltage that I see on the multi. That's 2022. And get continue. Now that the offset is, has been saved, I have to do the recalibration again with the same pot. So, to adjust the pot four from the bottom to show them so the multimeter shows um, 100 volt so I did that and it shows now now with the offset calculate same now for the virtual potentiometer and now we have to use the third pot from the bottom uh, did that too. The resolution of this train pot is much much higher than the other one. It means you have to turn to use much more turns to achieve the same result as the other one. Next step again to set the slider to get it as near as possible to the two volts. a little bit too high. No. That's the nearest possible. Again, I have to input the voltage channel, the multimeter. So that was the initial calibration and I have to go a lot of calibrations steps further. I think the next one will show probably a current calibration. Okay. Okay. I made the majority of the calibration in the background, out of camera. And I want to show you only one calibration here that says the compensation. This is how it looks without the 3.3 ohm 25 watt resistor inside as I activated here. 
That's the first resistor on the left. That's the button. And let's see what happens when I activate the button. Okay, button is not activated. 6.33 volts. Button activated. 6.35, that's a little bit high. Okay, I readjusted the one potentiometer, the transparent one at the right, on the heater board. Let's check again, 633, 633, more or less. That's good. So that's it for today. Calibration is done completely. Next step, in the next videos, will be the live testing with my tube socket boxes. Cheers!